so you're thinking about moving to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and you want to know what kind of bang you can get for your buck? Well, today we're going to go through three different neighborhoods in South Tulsa and look at three different houses and three different price points so you know how far your dollar can stretch. If this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Tulsa and the surrounding suburbs, then tap that little bell notification, subscribe, and be the first to get notifications so you know what's going on in the Tulsa market. Now, let me tell you, my team and I get calls every single day from people just like you who need help moving to the Tulsa area, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, uh, send us an email, you can even schedule a Zoom call, and we would love to help you make that seamless move to Tulsa, Oklahoma. So where we're at right now, we're at 91st in Yale, and it's this great little shopping center that has absolutely everything you need in this area. So right behind me is Whole Foods that my brother-in-law refers to as Whole Paycheck. Uh, so you can get your shopping right there. We've got a Starbucks back there, um, a cycle bar, Upper Crust Pizza, great little pizza place. You've got a Jimmy John's, a Qdoba. Now behind me, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's one of my absolute favorite restaurants. And when you're coming to Tulsa, you've got to put that on your list. If you like sushi, uh, they have the best happy hour. It's from two to five every fr or Monday through Friday. And their sushi is seriously the best. I think you should try the hot mess, the golden driller, and I always do the chef's choice. And then if you want a cocktail, I'd recommend the flying lotus. And um, yeah, so this is a great place. I don't know if I said quick trip. We've got a Genesis Health Club about a mile and a half away, but everything you need right here in this area. So our first house is gonna be in the 300s, the upper 300s. So let's go take a look right now. Okay, here we are at our first stop, Bridal Trail Estates in South Tulsa. Now, actually, we are in the Jinx School District. All three homes that we are going to be looking at today are in the Jinx School District. And Jinx is a fantastic district. Um, it's a suburb of Tulsa, and we have a video over that. But for athletes, it's number one in the state and it's the second highest ranked district in the state according to niche.com uh, now this neighborhood that we're here at uh, older neighborhood uh, you can see you know there's mature trees the, the lot sizes are bigger the house that we're looking at is on a 0.8 acre lot so you've got bigger lot sizes here you've got somebody you can hear that beeping someone over here is um working on looks like looks like working on a creek so that's probably city work working on a creek outside of um, you know on that part of um, on that part of the area uh, but the house that we're going to be looking at right here is three hundred and eighty five thousand dollars uh, so you're in that upper threes price range it's a four bedroom here it is right here it's four bedroom two and a half bath um, at three hundred eighty five thousand which puts it at hundred and sixty six dollars per square foot it's 2317 square feet uh, it's been remodeled uh, as you can see it's had um, it looks like it's been flipped remodeled uh, the outside's been painted uh, big lot this one has an in-ground pool 
Um, but that's, that's in our $300,000 price range. We're off of 101st Street. You know, we were at 91st in Yale earlier. Uh, this is 101st in, um, this is 101st in Sheridan, I believe. So just a little bit further, you know, just a little bit further down. Uh, great, great area. Um, super, you know, the neighborhood, the streets are wider. We've got lots of mature trees. The houses are not right on top of each other. You know, as we go through the neighborhood, you're going to see that some are, you know, some need to be, um, cleaned up a little bit, kept up, whereas some look fabulous. You can tell they've been renovated or really well taken care of. Um, so, you know, in some neighborhoods like this, you know, it's just hit or miss. You'll have a couple houses that are in some disrepair and need to just be flipped. But, you know, as we go in deeper in the neighborhood, there's some fantastic houses. So let's take a look. Lots of mature trees. Uh, if you look around, you can see all the trees in the back. Like very pretty scenery when you, you know, when you walk out your door and you look outside. So you've got a lot of aesthetically pleasing, you know, a lot of aesthetically pleasing um, views right here. So this house that we're looking at now is in the 400,000 range, upper 400,000. It's $476,000, four bedroom, four bath, and that puts it at $138 per square foot. Uh, it was built in 2007, and as you can see, you know, it needs a little updating, but tons of space. You've got 3,426 square feet, so you've got a ton of space. It would be easy to update this house and great neighborhood. Again, South Tulsa. Now here we're really close to Memorial. So you're right by Lifetime Fitness, Costco, Target, uh, super easy access to the Turnpike. So this is a really great area.
construction. So all of the houses, you know, have been built in the past year, two years. This one is brand new construction. No one's lived in it. You know, a couple punch through um, stuff for the punch through list, but uh, move in ready. And it is at 699,000. It's 3,500 square feet, which puts that um, at about 199 per square foot. It's a four bedroom, three bath, three car garage. Uh, great, great area. So this is this is what you can get in Tulsa. Uh, there's homes that you know are less expensive and more expensive, but no doubt if you're thinking about making a move to the Tulsa area or the surrounding suburbs, then reach out to me. I would love to call, text, uh, email, Zoom with you, and I'd love to show you around Tulsa. Thank you.